what a difference a couple of lakes makes the same woodland I was in last time absolutely covered in leaves now spring has finally definitely sprung this is gorgeous all sorts of birds singing I think I might eat woodpeckers later as well or tomorrow first thing I've got to do is try to go and find a stick for my shelter right I'll come back to you soon exactly the same place I was at when I had done my last camp so this should be interesting just uh, it'll actually do be a very good comparison so I'll get me uh, my shelter set up and then I'll fetch you back all right see you soon and we're back as you can see This week I'm doing a Polish Army Lavu, but the trick is, it's not a Polish Army one, it's actually a replica, it's one of the Hobson's vintage ones from uh, militarymark.co.uk, it's a size 3, so it's the biggest size, uh, and yeah, that's what we're sleeping in tonight. Right. That's me all set up. Got my sleeping bag out, my sleeping mat. Got myself a cupboard on the go. So I'm just sitting here and listening to the birds now. I've just been getting told off by a, a woodpecker up in that tree. Don't know what its problem was. <laughs> Probably just the fact that I'm in these woods. Uh, yeah. I uh, checked the weather forecast and it's not going to rain. Bit of a breeze, but I'll put up with that. Don't mind that at all. It's just nice to be out in the woods again. It's been about three weeks, I think, since I was out. I wouldn't say that I need to decompress. I don't think it's quite decompression. Um, Obviously, I don't. I'm, I'm not working now, so I don't have to decompress from that. Home life isn't bad at all. Don't mind the home life. So I wouldn't say it's decompressing. I think it's just maybe. I don't know. Getting back in touch with nature. I don't know. It, it's hard to describe. I love being out here. Don't get us wrong, I love my bed as well at home. But I do love being out here. Um, yeah, it's just nice to be out. There's a lot of people. I can hear traffic noise on the road. It sounds like bloody Le Mans. Grand Prix. Absolute tools on the road like the they must have been doing a ton easy absolute idiots they're flying by and they don't even notice things like this you know the different colors in the leaves the brand new leaves all the different shades of green i think life passes passes us by fast enough as it is without uh, doing out like that I think everybody should just stop and take a breath every now and again. Just listen to the birds. Watch the birds if you can see them. Try and identify them. Just take a breath. Take a minute. 
there's nothing we, we don't have to be anywhere at any time and even if we do set off a little bit earlier go a bit slower see life there's a lot of it around I just think people just need to do that I mean I'm dead pleased I've got the opportunity to do it now although when I was working I had the opportunity I just didn't have the motivation but now I can hear that woodpecker again I hope the camera can pick that up Probably telling me off again. <laughs> yeah, it was sitting up in top of this tree, just looking at me and shouting. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to hear it drumming in the morning. I think it's maybe a bit late now. I think everybody needs to just take a breath every now and again. I think it would be a nicer world if we did. Instead of running around and sh It's no good. <coughs> I was getting ready to come out this evening. It was a bit of a last minute job so obviously I've forgotten a few things. But when I was getting ready to come out, my dog was uh, running around and around thinking she was coming with me. I'm beginning to wish I'd brought her with me now. I think it's maybe about time I started fetching her. For anybody who doesn't know me, she's um, a German... Oh, idiot. She's a German Shepherd, Belgian Shepherd cross. So she's like a... Yeah. She's a Bellman Shepherd. <laughs> and she's absolutely, she's brilliant. I think I'm definitely going to have to start fetching her with me this time. Well, now, from now. Oh, woodpecker. Oh, it's right on this tree here. <laughs> brilliant. 20 feet away from me, running up a tree. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to start fetching my dog. If anybody wants to see my dog, just leave me a comment and I'll fetch you. Right. I'll get my cup out anyhow. to say I'm not cooking anything tonight because uh, like I said it was a bit of an impromptu uh, last minute camp and uh, I had sausage and mash when we were at home before I set off really enjoyed it so no cooking tonight just my cuppa a little tot in it so yeah just enjoying the peace. Still hear them lambs that were here last time. No doubt they'll be a bit bigger and a bit noisier. And like I said last time, even that's soothing. It's nice to hear. Just enjoying the uh, the peace and quiet to be honest. About half an hour before the sun goes down, I'll get my lamp lit, have a sit down, have another cup of my bag, and then turn in. Up early in the morning, so got things to do, places to go. 
which sort of contradicts everything that I was saying five minutes ago. Never mind. <sighs> Hopefully you can see me. It's quite dark now. I've got my light on. My candle lantern. Um, I keep forgetting to film things because I'm just enjoying myself. Like I said, the sunset about, it, what time is it now? It's 20 to 10, the, sun, the sunset about half an hour ago. I can hear Rob, Robins are all, they're still singing, but uh, everything else seems to have quietened down. The woodpeckers have buggered off, which I'm pleased about because they were noisy. I'll probably get them back, back again in the morning. But, uh, yeah. Just been enjoying the peace and quiet. Um, probably won't do much filming again from now till the morning. I'm doing my pack up and what have you and be picked up. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just say uh, good night. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Twenty past five. Didn't have a bad night really. Been awake on and off. A bit broken, but other than that, it was wasn't too bad. <coughs> nice and warm. Well sheltered. Nice and quite cosy in here. I think all the lambs came to the fence, all the sheep came to the fence last night, so it was a bit noisy, for a bit. Must have been taken sheltered, maybe from the breeze. Well, then again, they were maybe just being noisy, seeing what I was doing. Think about getting up, get a cup of on, get packed away. I'm just thinking about it though. That's it, seven o'clock, all packed up. Very little trace of me being there, apart from a couple of scuff marks. I'm going to head down to the road and uh, wait for the lovely Mrs T to come and pick me up. So, hopefully I'll see you all soon.